Hi, I'm Pat Long. Welcome to this uh, first in a five-part video series that uh, is designed to prepare you for the uh, SAS 9.4 Base Programming Performance-Based Exam uh, that is new as of 2019. Um, so I'm going to run you through in the first video just uh, setting up uh, SAS University Edition, which isn't a necessity to take uh, the exam. And I'm also going to, just going to give you an overview of uh, what to expect on the exam. And in the subsequent four videos, I'm going to go through uh, all the items that SAS uh, give us uh, to let us know what exactly is on the exam and to show you by example uh, what you can expect. So in this video, we're just going to go over some uh, of the background to the uh, performance-based exam, the SAS 9.4 based programming exam. I'm also going to run you through um, how easy it is to do the installation for SAS University Edition, which is the uh, free version you can uh, install on your machine. You don't actually need that on the computer uh, you use for the exam uh, because you'll be using Pearson View, you'll be, use, you'll be remoting into a uh, Windows environment um, that you'll be tested on. Um, so some background on the uh, SAS 9.4 programming uh, performance based exam. Uh, it costs $180, uh, it never expires and uh, I took it online uh, or you can take it at a testing center if you prefer but it's very easy to, and convenient to just take it online. So let's talk about the structure of the exam. It's a performance-based and a multiple-choice exam. Um, although it's called a performance-based exam, uh, there are still multiple-choice questions at the end. Um, you have 13 performance-based questions um, where you run through coding tests and then you have, um, I believe it's 15 to 20, it's not clear on the uh, SAS website, but I believe it's 15 to 20 based on having taken it myself. Uh, multiple choice questions. You should probably allow for one minute, one to two minutes tops for the multiple choice questions. They're fairly straightforward and uh, you should probably plan on an hour and a half uh, for the performance based 13 questions. Um, you have two hours total to take the exam. Um, and you can search SAS documentation in your exam session. So it's open book to an extent but you really don't want to rely on this. Um, maybe only use it once or twice. Um, so you're in a controlled environment in the exam, uh, as is the case with uh, any Pearson View uh, test I've taken. Um, so y you can't just Google, you have to use the SAS documentation uh, on, your, uh, on your remote session on, through Pearson View. Um, but don't, don't panic too much. The instructions on Pearson View are really clear and transparent. Um, as you register for the exam, you get to test whether your uh, PC or um, computer is ready for uh, meets the requirements to take a Pearson View exam. So before you before you've paid for it, uh, you need to make sure you uh, you can use it on your computer when you're using the. Um, when you're doing the performance-based exam from home. Um, if you go into a testing center, you don't have to worry about that. But uh, I think since the at-home option is available, um, you know, m most people are likely to use that. Also, you get to schedule when you want to take it. So uh, at least when I registered, I had to take an exam that was 10 days after the day I registered. That was the first available opening. Um, so don't plan on taking it the same day you register. You're going to want to at least allow for a week or two before there's a day available that you can take it. Um, and just uh, as a heads up, all the code that I use in the subsequent tu tutorials in this video, there, there is no code, um, is available in the description of the YouTube video and it's also uh, well, it's a link to my GitHub page, which is where it's uh, stored. So now, um, 
I'll move on to the installation of uh, SAS University Edition. Although I won't actually go through the installation because it takes about 45 minutes, but I'll point you to where uh, and how to do it through uh, SAS's online instructions. So let's jump into the installation of SAS University Edition. So here's the uh, four-step installation overview for uh, SAS University Edition. Um, you just have to download VirtualBox or um, some other virtualization software. I'd recommend just using VirtualBox, uh, virtualbox.org. Um, SAS provides the uh, download link and then you download uh, SAS University Edition and then you import uh, SAS University Edition into your virtualization software, um, software, um, and then you can start a uh, SAS University Edition uh, session um, uh, using VirtualBox. So here I am, uh, about to start a SAS Studio session. And so it's important to note that on the um, on the exam you can use uh, SAS Studio or you can use uh, Display Manager or Enterprise Guide. Um, I actually used uh, Display Manager um, for the for the exam myself, but um, I'm going to be doing uh, the the tutorial in SAS Studio. So we're in SAS uh, Studio now, and uh, you can see um, we have the SAS Help Libraries, which I'll mainly use to provide examples. Um, and we have a SAS session going. I should also mention that you don't have to use SAS Studio, you can use uh, in, in the uh, performance-based exam online, you can use the uh, Display Manager or uh, SAS Enterprise Guide. Um, I'll use SAS Studio in all of these, um, all of the subsequent tutorials. So it may be um, useful to you to use that. But if you're experienced with Display Manager or SAS Enterprise Guide, they're also uh, good options. So in the uh, subsequent videos, I'll go over the four sections of the exam. Um, access and create data structures will be the next video. Um, then we'll go over the manage data section, error handling and generating reports and output. And uh, one last thing, this is uh, what your uh, score report will look like. Uh, you need a passing score of 725. Um, give on a scale of 200 to 1,000, um, it generally ends up being around 70% um, on the performance-based exam. Um, and then you get a breakdown of your section scores uh, on the results. So uh, this is the minimum passing score. and um, This was actually the score when I took it. Um, this is actually my um, exam result. So yeah, and and anyway, in the next video, we're going to move on to. We'll talk about access and creating data structures, uh, which is the the first section of the study guide. Um, these aren't necessarily anything to do with the order of how exam questions might be structured. Uh, this this is just the way uh, SAS have divided up their base programming performance based exam uh, study guide, and so I'm going to follow that. Um, and uh, coincidentally or or usefully, they build on one another. So uh, in Access and Create Data Structures, we'll introduce um, some basic things you can do with the SAS data step um, and also look at some, uh, just a couple of uh, SAS uh, procedures. So follow on to the next video. And in that video, we'll be mostly looking in SAS Studio, going through code and um, all the code that I use in all of the subsequent four videos. 
will be in the description of those YouTube videos um, and stored on my GitHub page. So thanks and see you in the next video.